Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the McNeese State Cowboys and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Bulldogs should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Third, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted. To there's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Rejects it. Fast break opportunity here for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. inside number 54 pump fakes they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works Ooh, look at the shot block but he got some contact nice hops Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I tell you what he's trying to deny the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off the shooting guard receives the ball up and in Outside, Lloyd receives the pass. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? <laughs> they work the perimeter. Daniel handles the pass. Now trying to feed the low block. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Now they work it around the perimeter. They go into the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gonzaga have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. He nails the shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Goes up for two. It sticks. Trying to feed the low block. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. For two, doesn't go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Takes it off him. They're off into transition. Tries for two. the feed. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. For the bucket. 
He nails the bucket. Entry pass in the paint. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. That's even more important to have to a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. And he scores it off the glass. They move it into the front court. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Double team now. Bad angle. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Goes up for two. And in and out. Coke is animated and ready to go. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. on offense. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. to 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Perfectly executed. On the inside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Steals the ball. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Pump fakes. Here's a double team. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Tries for two, knocks it down. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Got to control yourself. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues.
Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. That's basic. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Yeah, they come with a double team to stop it. McNeese State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He uses the shot fake. Gave it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. Makes the shot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For the bucket, they still don't score. Moving it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up fake. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. They're working around the arc. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if he can convert. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And we'll go to the free throw line. Gets the first shot. them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Working it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Defensively down the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Both teams looking to get things going here. There's the pick. Let's it fly. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Sets the screen for his teammate. He hits it. He shoots from the angle. He gets the bucket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Looking for contact. He gets that one to fall. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He buries the shot. That's worth another look. He shoots from the top of the circle. 
Nails it from another state. They work it back to the outside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Gets it to go. Puts it up looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. screen and the ball goes out of play full house and a packed crowd and they are into it tonight i tell you what emotion what an edge for the home team dump it inside and there's a lazy pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the fake from left of the circle. He gets it to go. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. sellout crowd and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He's got an open look for the shot. There's the rejection. Now you got to get back defensively. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. Inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two, it's good. Moving it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. There was no doubt about that one. Dump it inside. Pull up jumper from way out. Way off target. City that will always really negate any offense. Looking for the foul. Up, easy one. Oh. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, you're going one way, you spin back the other way. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes. They work the perimeter. Defense giving some room. Jumps in. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Bulldogs are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket to fall. three-point range. He buries it. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes a jumper. There's the screen up on top. From right in the circle. Goes. Definitely worth another look, Brad. Gave it up in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Shot clock is dead. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. And in and out. At the end of the first half, the Bulldogs trail by one. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Gonzaga has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Watch your head, young fella. The small forward takes the feed. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Takes the pass in the paint. 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Steals the pass. He gets the bucket to fall. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside at a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking. Him. And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. In the paint, fakes the shot. King in the paint, tries for two. Intercepted. He draws a foul. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. It's around fadeaway. The point guard with the ball. Intercepted for the deuce. Gonzaga is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looking for a good shot. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Kick it back outside. The point guard takes the pass. He shoots from left to the circle, and he misses the shot. The power forward gets the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. And a momentary look from three-point land. Shoots. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Put it one on one, how to explode to the goal. He'll go to the line. He sinks it. Second shot, no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Lloyd draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me?
Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. The small forward gets the ball, gets it to fall. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way for two. And he missed. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Blocks it. They are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Feet in the post. There's a high screen. He puts it in with contact and all. Set in. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. For two, Gonzaga are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. <laughs> Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Top of the key. Rims out. Drains it. That double team's too weak, Brad. Well, they ran through that like it wasn't there. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Let's face it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Fast break possibility coming. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, full of time out and get your boys into the game, Brad.
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. He looks for three. Sinks it. it up for the bucket. Gonzaga are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. <laughs> for the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Cowboys have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Steals the pass. He gets up the floor on the break. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. territory goes in problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting stolen he brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him and he scores despite the hack The outside. He throws it up from downtown. Got it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Making his presence felt with a block, and the ball goes out of bounds. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked in on the box. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Hey, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Sinks the shot. The Bulldogs are up by 10. job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure on the basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. Tries for two.
turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the outside, and we've got a whistle and a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post flasher is open. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They let him get into a rhythm. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's look at it again. They'll bring it up. He unloads a three. He makes the shot. The Cowboys are behind by 11. Now they're working around the perimeter. the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people in the foul trouble. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Rims out. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He nails the shot. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Lazy pass. For two, off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Jumped in front to take it away. Step out on that screener. For the bucket. Rims out. Looking for a good shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. That was nice. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it.
Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Doesn't go. Basket falls despite the contact. Picked out of the air. The fadeaway. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. He shoots from long range. He drains the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thick, Brad. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Pushes it. Great defense. Number 25 is trying to get the fans involved now. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. it around the arc. They've left him completely alone. They work the perimeter. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Let's face it. Now it's just a matter of Dick. Isn't the clock management here? I'll tell you, it's time to start fouling. You want to stop the clock. the freebie makes it sinks it we've got a timeout dick and i'll be back in a moment that's a good to baby different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. And yet another foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Makes the front end of the one-and-one. 
They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes the shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Dick, the shot seems to be dropping for them right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Second one is good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Picks off the pass. Now on the break. Cross court. Takes away the pass. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I tell you, one of this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Gonzaga played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. Brad Nestler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.